Margil Bear has made a choose your own adventure series on YouTube which is very old like very 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 old but I've always wanted to play it myself and now I love choose your own adventure and I love Mark a lot and well I love you guys too so I decided why not react to it together with you guys so I hopped on YouTube and streamed the entire series together with you guys live and yes like all the things that I have done until now chat would always tell me what choice to pick and would always influence my decisions now then Without wasting any time, be sure to subscribe so that you won't miss part 2 of this and let's get strapped off and off to space we go. Markle Bear is lost in me, is lost in space. <laughs> Markle Bear is lost in my eyes though. No, I am lost in Markle Bear's eyes. Anyways, just tell me if the audio is too loud or anything like that and uh, yeah, let's play in space with Markle Bear. One of my favorite YouTubers of all time. Fantastic guy. Huge fan. Fan before in your career for quite a while. Thank you. Invisible Tower, this is Shuttle Marmota, approaching Docking Bay 4. Closing the glass shields. Uh huh. Shuttle Marmota, you're cleared to dock. Yeah. Copy, Copy you. you. <laughs> Truth be told, you guys can't hear this, right? Anyway. But uh, yeah, don't get me wrong, I know exactly where we're at. Check it out. We're gonna land in five. We're gonna land early. Yeah, I fucking knew it. Captain. We're here early. <laughs> it's an honor. <laughs> Hello, Mark. Finally, the man. Give you the grand tour before we embark. This is my pride and joy. My baby. No, someone died. All right. Yeah, my baby now. My baby will always remember. Father. True. Welcome aboard, Captain and Head Engineer. Prepare for sterilization. First stop, the warp core. The heart and soul. Heard my name is Market Dude. Fucking you know, Giga Chad. That is true, but you need to know how it works in order to fix it. It passed every safety test with flying colors. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, he his eyes burned. But just in case, I built in a special precaution. If anything goes wrong, we can detonate these explosives and separate the warp core from the rest of the ship. This is gonna go horribly wrong when we try to detonate. I just know uh, it. A problem that can't be solved with explosives. And that is also true. The main reactor. Turns out you pretty much need the power of a star to tear open a wormhole. So a star. Wow. Built like, like a, a tank, tank too. <laughs> this is gonna go horribly wrong. I just, you know. <laughs> yep. Bolt. Captain. Hey, Bert! Yo! My favorite character in this show. Yep. After Mark. Yeah, Bert, he makes sure the ship don't go boom. Yep. Hello. The colonists are prepped, stable, and ready for transit. Systems are working at 110% too, which is a little weird, but overkill never hurts. Trust me. You do not want to be awake when the war core hits the gas. Overkill never hurts. <laughs> Good job, Mark. <laughs> Captain, all colonists are prepped and stable. Hundred thousand souls ready for I love his acting. It is so good. Before they know it, they're gonna wake up to the side of a brand new planet with a fresh cup of coffee in their hands. Why don't you give them more windows to look through? Well, maybe I will. Maybe then someone might appreciate the aesthetics. We are all gonna die because of his aesthetics. What could go wrong with a crew like this? Indeed. Good to go. Don't worry, Cap. No asteroids getting by me. You can count on that. All right. Hello, bird. Get out of the way, please. That was neat. Still weird. Hey, that's not bad. <laughs> we wouldn't know until we passed out. Seems fine. fine. Everything is accounted for. We're ready to see our new home. All that's left Fuck now. New home. Oh hey. To say the word. Try All right. Not to too excited, Captain. I know no how your speeches speech. can get people riled up. Okay. Today we gather, become astronauts, fly. Yeah. Engaged. Yeah, you know what? Let's just let's just fix the ship. Thank you. Now, the very interesting and fun stuff of the video is about to begin. But before that, I would like a little bit of a guy this time to ask you guys to subscribe if you haven't already and like the video if you're enjoying it so far. 
we have done this live with you guys and you guys have influenced all of my decisions and it was so much fun with you guys and yeah so uh, you know if, if you're into all of this stuff be sure to join the streams i stream every day 3 p.m isp uh, i guess that's it you know be sure to join the discord because that is where we decide what we're going to do because we have started a series called as a react sundays where chat sends me videos and stuff and i react to it so most of the videos have been sent on discord and they are like being sent so hey if you guys want me to react to something be sure to join the discord and tell me there and also suggest what i should do for the next react event thank you for your time let's get back into this chaos. I, ooh, I'm, sure I'm sure you'll make a great speech once we get there. Yes, sir. Oh, and I forgot to mention it's not a problem, of course. But just before you go to sleep, be absolutely sure. Do not. One, do not what? Nine, eight, seven, six. All right. Is available. Would you like to restart to apply this update? Oh, perfect. Don't give up. Oh, who's that? Looking okay, we're in the future now. Good morning, Captain. We are currently Good morning. years into our journey. Coffee is on route. Current ship station is. Absolutely Perfect. protocol. I am 100% sure Mark came up with that name. You know we're gonna call this protocol Wakey Wakey Protocol. Oh Mark, hey. What the fuck? Mark. Mark, no, we are the captain. Mark is the head engineer here. He managed. He just fucking died. I played this already. This part. Yeah. So the we played both of those. Put out fire is the right option here because this is actually the wrong option. Nice. Oxygen levels dropping to unsafe levels. All right. Both of those were bad. Now we don't have oxygen and we die. But this is, believe it or not, this is the right option to pick. There we go. But we're not actually dead. I mean, we are dead. But what happens now is back here. Good morning, Captain. All right, wakey, wakey protocol active. Yeah! Yeah, grab him! Nice! There we go, Mark! No problem! Well, I'll get the fire, you get the oxygen! Yeah! Alert. Fire extinguished. Perfect. Captain levels rising. Nice. Oh, Captain, there you are. I got life support back online. Good job, Mark. I don't know what the hell is happening, but we seem to have this situation all under control. Yeah. Very, very under control. Computer, activate the asteroid defense system. Analyzing. No. no. <laughs> Computer, what's wrong with the ADS? Yes, offline. Why? He is so fucking talented in acting, it blows my mind. So is it Mark with blue? I don't know actually, I've not gone that far. Like I've only played, I only know about that one ending and this part, that's it. 
And then I don't know who the blue monster is. Oh, they're shooting at us. Perfect. Something's gone wrong with the computer. Of course. Did you make it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> that explains it. Uh-huh. We gotta fix ADS we're gonna get blasted a bit. Just like old times. Lore. Very but amazing lore. Just what happened to the first units. But they didn't have you! I know you Exactly, I have a plan. I can see the wheels turning. You face the odds and being them a thousand times. You know what? We're gonna send Mark in. The reason he's gonna get shot and it's gonna be very funny. And he's gonna kind of like, you know, he's like a captain, I don't wanna go in, I don't wanna go in, you know, like that. And then we are still gonna send it because he has to listen to everything that we say. So I, I don't, I, Marketer is one of my absolute favorite YouTubers. I love that guy. But watching him suffer is kind of fun. Before, this is gonna be a cakewalk. I'm practically salivating at the thoughts of how you're gonna save us. <laughs> Tell me. Uh, all right. So yeah, we're gonna send him in. <laughs> And it's gonna be yeah, go in, Mark. You want me to go in? Yep. Fix. They have to shoot this again and again. By the way, there is so much work in it. Who wants a gold medal, Mark? Make me proud. <laughs> Dude, his acting is so good. You know the systems after all, so I should be able to fix it. I won't let you down. Oh, sevens. <laughs> oh, oh god asteroid defense system online job is done captain you're not my most trusted man for no reason mark go ahead got on the dna scanners <laughs> me is me and stop shooting long enough for me to fix the system good job mark in the first place but I'll run some diagnostics now that the ship seems to be out of imminent peril. You deserve that medal. Computer, what happened to cryo? Maintenance. Maintenance? Shutting down. What the? Whatever. <laughs> cryo? <laughs> Mark is gonna go in again. We gotta fix it fast or we're gonna start losing colonists. What should we do? <laughs> what should we do? <laughs> Mark, you're gonna go in. Equal partners. I think if we keep sending him in, he's gonna start hating us, <laughs> and then in the end, he's gonna kill us. And I'm fine with that ending, to be honest. But <laughs> gonna send Mark in. Uh, that's why feeling also is so rewarding in this. Oh my god. core temperatures rising to unsafe levels. <laughs> oh, it's metal. Oh, we kicked him accidentally. What? What? Warning. Reactor's overload. Now the reactor's gonna go kablooey. Yep, the reactor's gonna go kablooey. Let's go fix it. Let's move to the next station. Let's go fix it. Let's move. What the fuck? 30 seconds until catastrophic reactor meltdown. Someone with extensive engineering expertise needs to enter this room. Don't. You, yep, send Mark in. We're not gonna make them now, say, go in, Mark. Yep. Please, no, I, it's too much. I can't do it. My hands are numb. I wouldn't be able to fix it even if I knew what the problem was. Which I don't. I don't think anybody does. Okay, what are we going for? Coward eyes. You understand, don't you? We fucking threw him in the burning place. Dead, dead declaration of duty, crying, crying with not. Died without permission. Yep. I was so cold from cryo. I didn't even feel the heat. Exactly. I don't think I'm gonna lose any limbs to frostbite. You really do know what you're doing, don't you? 
Yeah, I'm a captain for a reason, Mark. He was my captain. And the ship should be in good enough shape that we can finally take a breath, look around, and figure out what's happening here. I think we're gonna be. Don't. I think we're gonna be okay. Computer, what's the status of the warp core? Warp core cannot be reached. Clarify. I love the computer. Tell us if it's gonna blow up. No. No, it's not gonna blow up. No. Are you, you stupid robot? <laughs> <laughs> His acting is so good. Maybe we can figure out where we are. Computer, wake all crew leads and get them running diagnostics. Waking crew? Why didn't you do that sooner, though? It would have been so much easier to fix all the systems on the ship if the crew leads had been awake. Uh, whatever. The ship seems stable for now. Don't know why I can't reach the warp core, but... Um... The bottom of this. I swear, if one more thing blows up on my ship, I'm gonna lose it! What the hell is that? What the? Going, Mark? That's new! Um. Oh, yeah! Blow up! Good idea, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh God. My God. We're stuck, stuck in, in a goddamn, goddamn wormhole. Yeah, and you are cool. All stress is redlining across the but... It's holding for now, but I can't tell you how long that's gonna last. Captain, what do you say? About time? Yep. Computer, activate the event horizon protocol. Mark, Dad, what have you done right? No confirmation? It worked, didn't it? I'm gonna kill you. Oh. Hunter said it was okay. Hey, we're gonna be drifting for a while without the warp core, but we're safe. I think the colonists are gonna be okay. Who the wise lord dude? Good. This is Gunther who manages all our guns and stuff. <laughs> Mr. Beast. Gunther manages all our guns and stuff. A bird who makes sure it doesn't go kablooey. She, I guess, manages human resources and Mark is the head engineer. And then we are the captain of the ship. It's all good, you know. With the, the event, event horizon, horizon protocol, protocol activated, activated, the Invincible 2 was free from the effects of the wormhole and sent adrift into the vastness of space in search of a new planet to colonize. Specifically, Mark is searching for it because you ordered him to. Because he's the best at it. No, 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 no. He's definitely not the best, as his demerit record clearly shows. He's just the one your mind drifts to when something needs doing. Yep. Perhaps because he's considered to be a friend. Best but friend. Not. <laughs> Eventually, you do manage to find a plan. An oh, is this an ending? You dearly. Even if Mark was the one to make the discovery, you were the one to order said discovery, <laughs> so you should take all the credit for ordering the discovery of the discovery. Correct. Which you do. Once, Once the colony is established, you find that, despite his extensive list of demerits, you're always willing to give Mark a chance to prove himself by assigning him every task necessary to grow a thriving colony. Yep. Anytime a colonist needs their housing built, you pick Mark. Anytime a dangerous jungle needs to be explored, Mark. Anytime an alien attack threatens your colony, you put Mark right on the front lines. And he's happy to do it. Sure, the colony would probably grow faster if you didn't require that every single project and task wait for Mark to arrive, but it's the price of getting things done right. Or yep. getting things done good enough, at least. He's the head engineer after all. <laughs> that is correct. This pattern of dutiful obedience carries on for many years. And yeah, I think he kills us. You're struck with another problem that only Mark can solve. Yeah, yeah I think he kills us now. As you lay in your luxurious captain's bed, you find that you just can't seem to get comfortable. You ring, ring the summoning, summoning bell, bell that's been genetically coded to Mark to alert him of your need, as is customary for any discomfort you experience. Hello. You, you command, command him to bring you another pillow to ease <laughs> I'm gonna kill us with the pillow. Weary from the arduous work in micromanagement. Only a few seconds behind schedule for which you give him the proper demerits, Mark arrives, pillow gripped tightly in your hands. <laughs> You made the minimal effort required to gesture for his approach, and he does with a slightly more gleeful smile than usual. Oh, God. There's a certain twinkle in his eye that you haven't seen before, something that, if it were anyone else, you'd assume might be a hint of mischievousness. But Mark isn't the mischievous type. But unwarranted eye twinkling, you just can't abide. You pull up your tablet and scroll through the multitudes of demerits to find eye twinkling as Mark approaches with the pillow. His smile. 
growing with every step. And to your complete lack of surprise, he somehow screws up the simple act of giving you a pillow. He put it on your head instead of under it. There you go. Surely there's a demerit for improper execution <laughs> of locational prepositions. Oh god. Captain. Oh god, it's so so creepy. Wow. Are we in cryo bag? Oh. We are in cryo. Good morning, Captain. We are currently error years into our journey. Coffee is on route. Current ship status is absolutely catastrophic. Wakey, wakey protocol. Wait again, really? Something must be different here. What the fuck? <laughs> that wasn't expected. Reviving head engineer. Captain. Does this feel <laughs> What whoa? Fire on the bridge. Oxygen levels rising. Asteroid defense system is offline. Asteroid defense system online. Warning. Cooling. <laughs> All right. I would like to blow this up or not blow this up this time. Colonist core temperature stabilizing. Jump in. Can always cannonball. Never jump in. Oh wait. Oh. Oh. Take them fucking. It got they baited me. Oh my god, that is so smart. Dad, what the hell is happening? No more, no more. It ends here. I'm not gonna let you do it. I'm not gonna let, let you, you do it. You're gonna tell me what you did. You're gonna tell me, and then you are going to undo all of the damage that you have done. Huh? Okay. Look, um, lady. Who are you? Yeah. You are ship, and I know it looks bad, but usually it's a lot better. Not you. You. What? What? Everything, Everything that you destroyed. Everyone that you have killed, you are going to undo everything, everything right, right here, here, right now. Warning, reactor overload five. What? She just burned. Hey, Mark. Mark, go in. <laughs> the editing is so well done. Yeah, uh, definitely. You get the big one. Which big one was he talking about? Paradox detected. Paradox. Paradox detected. I guess going back in time does make time paradox. Oh, we are the suitable host. That is spooky. That is very cool. I'm just gonna get thrown back into where we were in cryo, or maybe the start of the ship. Emergency wakey wakey. Wakey wakey. Okay, we are at wakey wakey. Open cryo bar. Am I? 
Did I? Did you? Did we? Yeah, we did. Woo! We're immortal. Okay. Something. Something. I clearly remember falling through that door and then ending up in the center of a star. Ah, uh huh. I'm slowly feeling the flesh melt from my bones. Yes, something's wrong with you. But I'm alive. Yeah. And you're alive. Yeah. And I remember. And you remember, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is incredible. Computer, activate the emergency repair protocol. Oopsie boopsie protocol. Oopsie boopsie. System rebooted. Reviving true. Wow. Systems engaged. Okay. Something actually worked. Computer, can you shut down the warp core? Negative. Warp core cannot be reached. Okay. So the wormhole still a problem, and my emergency repair protocol can't shut it down from here. We need to get in the warp core somehow. But that shouldn't be a problem for two immortal gods. <laughs> okay. Something I go horribly wrong here. Do is keep jumping in, and eventually we'll find the right door. We'll get to the warp core, shut it down, save the colonists. And then you and me can enjoy our newfound powers until they slowly drive us mad and turn us away from everything we know and love. <laughs> yeah, I think I think I think that works. Uh huh. So what do you say? Come on, let's jump in again. What's the worst that could happen? We could die again, I guess. That wasn't. Ooh. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, you're probably right. They deserve to know what's happening. And yeah. They might have some ideas how to solve this. Probably not good ones though. That is so good. Oh my god. Such an upfront and thorough explanation of the situation. The mark of a great leader, always being open and honest with the crew, never holding anything back. The sweetest things turn sour by their deeds. A lily that festers smells far worse than weeds. You're correct, Bart. Uh, bottom line is, we need to get to the warp core and shut it down. It's having effects that I never could have predicted. The captain and I, we've tried some things, but we need fresh ideas. Yeah. Have you tried blowing it up? Obviously, they've tried blowing it up. Look what you're working with. I know we have. It. <laughs> <laughs> we no, have. It's not. You know nothing about wormholes. You could actually cause a false vacuum collapse. Well, no, we wouldn't. And also, that's that impossible. I what if I think. We back the ship up into the wormhole. What if we pop her in reverse and just undo all the wormhole? I don't. So Quite okay, Mark, think. I owe you an apology because obviously you're not the Yeah, I don't stuff. think that's hey, quite how it works. My stuff. Clearly, we need to send out a We're gonna back up the wormhole though if we get the chance. Sabotage this ship. You know, now that she mentions it, some of the damage on the ship did seem intentional. I think someone needs to go over every inch of this ship and do some rap. <laughs> go for it. Because the only two people that can change anything on the ship are me and the captain. And the only person that I trust more than myself is the captain. <laughs> yeah, buddy. How could anybody find us if we don't know where we are? That's my point exactly. We don't know where we are. We don't know how we got here. And we have the lives of the colonists at stake. If I can tell them, I'm definitely going to back up the ship in the wormhole. Hear me out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not up to you. It's not up to you. And I'm sorry, it's not up to you. Yeah. Because no, what the fuck? Everyone's white here. What do you mean? Okay, oh Gunther is my favorite. Oh, okay, Gunther. My word is Bert easily. And it's just signal Papa in reverse. Oh god, it is so good. My my word is easily Bert. Bert is so funny. No. Think about hey, it. You heard the captain, and they know what's best. Yeah, this is such a horrible idea, it's gonna kill all oh, of us. Relax, the captain knows what they're doing. I'm the cat, yeah, I, I do. So yeah, I like I'm crazy. We're all gonna die. Oh my god, for once in your life, just step back and put your faith in proper leadership. You got this, captain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We just killed everyone. <laughs> uh, another crisis. Oh. Current ship status broken. I mean, all the British ship time, just like wow. Here I am, <laughs> back for another ride on the merry-go-round of life. What the am fuck? I, am I some kind of god? Or was this just another oh. cruel game leading you on with beautiful promises? Only to stab you in the back and leave you for dead. <laughs> okay. Whatever it was, 
At least the company's nice. Yeah. Seems like that didn't work out so good for us, eh, Captain? Yeah, Mark. <laughs> oh well. You can't yeah. win them all. <laughs> solved. Wow. Not all problems. Your marriage? Yeah. Oh, no. We need this mark everywhere. Can't be solved with a swing of the fist, no matter how strong you are. <laughs> when the love of your life tears you to pieces, well, that's a wound that just won't heal. I can relate, man. <laughs> the captain looked right through me with those baby gray eyes. I have black eye, thank you, but okay. And the kind of looks that could kill to match. Maybe someday I'll work up the courage to ask them out on that date. Ah. Yeah, right. If you want, we can go on a date right now. I'll destroy the universe. So. Mark, we are a dark planet. That's ideas to get us out of this mess. Stop. <laughs> Fireball weapons. <laughs> Why are there so such good options? Holy shit! Like there is obviously a very sensible option, but there are obviously like the, the second option is like literally the every boy's favorite option. <laughs> you know what? I have to go with Darky Player here. Damn it! All right, we're going, we're going firing all the weapons, dude. I was hoping you'd say that, Captain. Yeah, I knew it. I've been to get some payback on this wormhole for all the hell it's put us through. Yes, sir. Well, why couldn't I shake a terrible feeling clutching my heart? Pulling the trigger felt right. I wanted to do it. But at the same time, in the back of my mind, I suspected that this would come back to haunt us. It will. Fire in the hole. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's not make it any worse than it already sounds. That's that. You did it, Captain. I always believed in Okay, hello, hello. I'm the guy from Five Nights at Freddy's. Hello. Uh -huh. Hello, hello. Uh huh. Uh -huh. It's for you. <laughs> okay. It's me, the wormhole. Oh, hey. I thought you thought I was dead, didn't you? Damn it. Oh, I gotta admit, it was a pretty good shot. Thank you. When you shoot to kill, you better make sure they're dead, because they might just come shooting back. I'm just fucked now. <laughs> Call me, I will try that number now. Wrong number? <laughs> Matpat did not yet. He got... Well, we are fucked. <laughs> well, it did. I love how everyone had top hats in the old British era, England era. In a swirl of blue energy, the captain of the Invincible 2 finds themselves back in their cryopod. Now, who's the narrator this time? Around, slightly confused for unknown reasons. Eventually, they get on with it and... <laughs> yeah, they just get on with it. Lines of their cryogenic prison. Stepping out of the There's always a button there. They wonder to themselves if they are, perhaps, stuck in some sort of purgatory. Doomed to endlessly repeat. That's why time travel is bad and like wormhole travel. The captain's intrepid engineer also wonders the same as they emerge from their. Hello, world. Mark. Captain, do you hear something? The captain, captain laughs a boisterous laugh. You <laughs> can't <laughs> hear it. Obviously, another one of Mark's hilarious rooms. Hey. Uh, from the after effects of cryogenic slumber. Right. Now. To be honest, we've, we've all seen, seen this it. part before, and I don't want the viewers at home to get bored. Okay. So why don't we skip ahead a few pages and get it to our good friend, Wug? Wait, what viewers? Who is Wug? What viewers? What? Ryu Q. Oh, what? What? Wug, being the stoic, battle hardened brute, oh, that's, that's is unfazed by this new turn of events and proceeds to extract the English language out of Mark's soft. Oh, oh, that. What? Yeah, I fucking knew it. Oh, God. Fast food restaurant. The captain grabs the food. What is the. Here you go, I guess. Oh, sorry. That's supposed to be a Thank you. fast food restaurant. Oh, what? Going, what are you going to do? arrives at the Universal <laughs> Stability Agency. Where's my food? Yeah. Arrival! We're here! Oh, Mark! Wug removes the helmet from Mark's soft, supple skull. Oh, fuck Owie. Ah, oh, thank and God. So our intrepid adventurers have arrived at the Universal Stability Agency. But is it too late for them to stop the rampaging wormhole that they have unleashed upon the cosmos? The captain mm -hmm. is to all the faces of the colonists under their care. 
Who was that? Okay, I know that. Bird! Mad Pat! Where's Gunther? Mark! Bro, what? What exactly? What? Yeah, same, same. The bandit leaves. You! What have you done? Not so fast. Who are you? Now we get to the interrogation. You are destroying everything. The I didn't even. What? They're space bandits? I said the bandit knocks out lady. That's not my name. And no, I'm not gonna do that. <sighs> It's so hard not working with professionals. Exactly. Bed cover falls on ladies' heads. Good. What the hell? And back to the ship. There we are, back on track. And not a moment too soon. Who is this lady? Bandit in hand, our intrepid captain now has the tools necessary to make their way to the warp core without further delay. But will the twisting holes of the invincible tube? I'm sorry. What did you say they have? The uh, uh, the. Ah, the portable temporal displacement device. Nice. You know, the, the MacGuffin that allows our captain to... MacGuffin. That is the ship. I didn't give them anything like that. Oh, my God. Okay. The captain looks down and sees the device. It glows. <laughs> the captain <laughs> can get to the warp corner. Nice. You just have to find it. There. All you need to do now is use the device and you'll be well on your way to part two. I did this much power in my life. So the real business can begin. I'm sorry. Part two? What does that mean? You're not supposed to be here. Who is she? This got so confusing out of nowhere. I'm so confused. So true. Hey, Captain, Captain, I don't know what the hell's going on. Uh -huh. If there's another option that gets us out of here that doesn't involve listening to a crazy voice in our head, we might want to take that one. Um, there is no other option written here. The next page literally <laughs> okay. says the captain uses the device and in a flash of blinding light is transported to another universe. There's no other way. There has to be another way. Forward. I can't do everything for you. Plan K, baby. What are you doing? What's up, Captain? You got a plan? Plan no, K. No, no, that is not part of the story. You can't do that. This is expressly oh. a lot. Where's my pen? Before you find this pen, blow it. Uh, what is that? Is that good? That's not good, Captain. What are you doing? Don't do what I beg. No, 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 no. Bye, bye. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> Are you waiting for me? Uh, fine. Yeah. Ship blows up, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Thank you very much. You deserve what's coming to you. <laughs> All right. I mean, hey, breaking the knobs, that's what I do. Even I can fly a kite, by the way. Having fun, Captain. You call this fun? I'm being tortured. Well, no, not me. I'm fucking loving you know, this. Like my character. Say, every choice spawns a new universe. Yeah, that's and true. If that's the case. What kind of universes do you think your choices have been making? Hmm? Multiple. You haven't have been working very hard, hard to, to save, save your crew, crew, have you, Captain? I'm crying. What's well, one choice it's among the infinite? You might ask. That's not the crew. One mistake is not all. And it's true. Not all choices matter. Some choices. Captain, some, some choices cho are everything. So, I'm going to make this easy for you. I'm only going to give you one choice. Okay. One mistake is all it takes. So true. It takes you right where you need to be. Okay. All you have to do is step inside. Who is this lady, though? Why does she have so much power? Don't, Don't you, you want to save your people? You're the, You're the only, only one, one who can. Oh, it's 11 minutes the next one is. Think long and hard. But I'm not doing it. Alright, what are you doing? Are you, you doing, doing it or are you not doing the it? the ramifications of your decision? Wisely done, Captain. Wisely done. I'll see you up ahead. Trust yourself, Captain. You have everything you need in the palm of your hand. Seems fair enough. 
don't know what that is in my in the palm of my hands, but all right, I'll give it a shot. Oh, we're here. We finally made it. That took long enough. Come on, Captain. It's time to finally end this. All right, Mark. Let's see if that thing actually works. I guess I still have a lot left to learn about wormholes. You do know how to use that thing, don't you? I don't. No! Don't you, Captain? Oh, not again! No! This is my last chance. This is the last chance to save the universe. Why are you interfering again and again? Give me the crystal. Hey, that's a nice bracelet you got there. Sure would be a shame if the computer activated the defense turrets. Damn it. <laughs> the computer inverted gravity. <laughs> terrible if the computer vented all the oxygen. Would be... You're going to kill him. He's so bad. So <laughs> bad. Yeah, we want the same thing here, which is why it's important we test out the event horizon. No. Didn't feel a thing. What? Oh, okay. Don't do that. There will be no self destructs. No. no defensive measures. Stop no. shooting him. Anything. Nothing. Turn off the eyes, no, right? Because I have fixed every system on this ship, and I have overridden. Every insane and violent contingency that you could possibly. She has a bracelet. She has a. She has a, a thing in her ha a hand as well. Watch her left hand, left arm, hand, whatever. Look at that. It's a human thing. No, 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 no! It's not. How many people have died because of your carelessness? And how many universes have you destroyed? People keep dying. We're just gonna reset things and fix it. It's fine. That's that's not how it works. Yeah, so you want to be able to fix Reckless, it? Careless, idiotic monsters. These aren't second chances. Every mistake has cost the lives of people who have trusted you. Who is she? Is she like the space police? Littered with the corpses. Of the space spider lady. So unless unless we can undo whatever it is you're about to do, then every living thing in existence will be snuffed out forever. Oh, we're not, we're not trying to hurt anybody. We're yeah. We're trying to save our people. We, the captain wouldn't do that. <laughs> captain, you wouldn't let that happen, would you? Of course not. I'm done, done being nice. Give yes. me Who crystal. are you? No. No. Stop. Wait, wait, what's going on? No, no, no. What? Wait, we didn't jump in, just threw us in. And what is this supposed to be? We should have the crystal, thankfully. Oh, we're here! The center of the core! This, all of this is so well made. Oh! Unhand me, you fiend! What? Where is this mark? This mark! What? Fall right into my <laughs> What the heck is going on? Not as fast as I used to be. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Should I love this guy? Oh my god! Okay, you win. Can I have my hand back? I think I broke something. Good job, Mark. Oh, please help me. I need help desperately. Friend of mine. So close, confidant. I missed our exchanges of conversation. That's it. Close, yeah. <laughs> what? Grand Flyer, yup. I'll stop you. Don't move. 
Don't do anything. All right. You do. Unless that's what you did. And then do it. I dare you to do it. <laughs> you do what? Do it. Calm down, Mark. What? This is the final confrontation. Good versus evil. What? Hero versus the villain. <laughs> Justice will prevail this day. First, I need to test out the Event Horizon protocol. Yeah. The hand. Why do you have two hands? What the? Mark being completely yeah, that's true. Yeah, that is Max normal. Mark just bombed us. This is the only way to be sure. The only way to truly fix the problem once, once and for all. all. Oh yeah. Uh, sorry about that. I'm sorry about, about a lot of things. You fucking blew me, Mark. Everything else. There's really only one more thing left to try. Be advised, designated location outside known universe. I know. That's the point. Whoa, no, Mark. That's bad. <laughs> yeah, good job, Mark. Wow. Why oh, is it old? I, I, I did it. I did it. I finally did it. I beat you. <laughs> I did it. I did it. I did it. <laughs> so that, that, this is, is Mark's normal. I forgive you. They don't come here. Oh, the pain and suffering that you caused. Forgive <laughs> you. It's all in the past. Uh, yeah. Future, or, um,. Uh, that, 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 that will never be because I beat you. <laughs> Everyone can finally go and live their infinite lives in peace. Oh, oh, oh that's crunchy. Oh, I bet you're confused, aren't you? Hmm? Very. That you don't get to destroy the universe. No, 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 no. All that matters is that you will no longer put the universe in imminent peril with your reckless back. Hey, little credits. That can't be good. Yeah, why the credits rolling? Uh, yeah, I know. That's why we're here. here. That's not, a Not recently, but like we're quite some time ago. Mark is such a sweetheart, dude. Probably just time some Definitely. Why is she? Oh my God! Why is she? No, 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 no. What have you done? I just saved the universe from the captain's rampage of destruction. I didn't even. You too, whoever you then are. Then he slowly turned it back to them. That is so like Mark. You? You did this. It was you? Lady, you're gonna have to be more specific. I've done a lot. <laughs> that is so true. Turn it off. You have to shut it down. You have to. Uh, well, maybe that's not the worst idea. I like this more than Detroit. Whoa! No, no, you don't get to blow up. I'm the one that blows things up. Oh, you think you're better than me? <laughs> oh, you think you're better than me? Oh, wait. Okay, no. It's, it's okay. I thought my thing glitched. They beat this so good. Oh my god. There is a part two, yeah. What the fuck? And well. That is the end of chapter 1 of Lost in Space with Mark Hikar. Such a fantastic series. But the story gets to conclude and we have to finish the game as well. Uh, I was about to do this together but I figured that the video would be way too long and doing it in parts is kind of good. But yeah, that's all that for today guys. Thank you so much for joining me. It was me, Kray, from Rolling and Realm, and we just reacted to Lost in Space with Mark Hikar. Be sure to give the video a like, maybe, maybe even subscribe if you haven't already, you know. Join on the Discord. I'll see you guys next time. Next time we'll be reacting to part 2. Be sure to join the streams. And yeah, thank you. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. See ya. I'm so bad at this. <laughs>